Hey, how everybody doing? I just finished eating some Subway, and that shit was atrocious. But <laughs> that's not why you're here. Um, in the last lecture, we talked about wireless devices. Now we're going to talk about input and output devices. This is going to be a quick lecture. I think as soon as we get into it, you're pretty much going to understand what we're talking about. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's get to it. All right, so input versus output devices. Input, putting something in. Output, you're getting something out of it, right? So as we go down this list, you're like, oh, that makes sense. So an input device would be a keyboard, inputting keystrokes, pointing devices like a mouse, or if you have a wireless mouse, uh, scanners, you're inputting a piece of paper to be scanned, and then it's input inside of the computer or inside the scanner. A uh, microphone, you're inputting sound waves into the microphone so you can uh, be heard. Output, printers, print out paper, display, has an output, just like this monitor uh, that I have in front of me, like the monitor you have in you, in front of you, speakers, output, sound. Brilliant. Now, there's a couple things that are input and output devices. Before we get to on the next slide, I'm going to give you a couple seconds for you to think. Okay, what is something that's an input and output device? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the next slide. So all of these are input and output devices, meaning that you can input or put something in it and you get something out of it. All right. So a flash drive, if you don't know what that is, it's like a small, portable, little hard drive that you can store data on, right? So I can put data in it, and I can take data out of it. Input, output, external hard drive, same thing. It's exactly like the hard drive inside your PC, except it's not inside your PC, okay? CD, DVD, Blu-ray, you can put stuff on it, take stuff out of it. Um, network attached storage, most of the stuff is pretty simple. Memory cards, mobile media players, smartphones, fax machines, right? So these are input as well as output, like uh, smartphones, right? You can put stuff in it, you can upload applications, or you can download stuff. So you can input, output, all right? Input, output. Make sense? Great. So as always, um, this was a lecture about input and output devices. Um, make sure that you have um, looked through the entire playlist for the ITF Plus because that's what this is a part of. So you can start at the first video and just run it through. So this course should be done, uh, God willing. Shit, it's going to be done by the end of this week. Nah, I'm going to give myself 10 days. 10 days, it'll be done before the 28th. All right, <laughs> it'll be done before the 28th. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And other than that, I'll see you in the next lecture.